part three of three on our Retro Ride Summer Gathering 2019 video where you get more racing and more interviews. We had a blast this event and we definitely want to get one of our cars to go there next year. I'm not sure which one it might be. Probably the SD1 has Pretty the best much, luck yeah, at this point. I think so. That's about the closest one to make it. Anyway, let's get back to more of the action.
My name's Chris. I've got a Mark 1 Golf, as you can see here. Uh, basically, I've got the uh, Bird Cup body kit on it. It's got a 2 litre 16 valve in it on throttle bodies uh, and exhaust system. The rest of the engine's standard at the minute. It's kicking out one separate brake. But it's stripped out of the inside, as you guys uh, have to take a view in there. Nothing, no interior, no nothing. Aluminium. Oh, you get the interior, yeah. Um, I've cut out as much as I can. Polycarbonate windows, custom side skirts made out of aluminium. I only managed to get them on the car yesterday and painted for, for the event today. Also as well, last year I had a 2 litre 8 valve in it and I took it around the Nürburgring and I managed to achieve uh, an 8 minute 20, which is not bad, bridge the gantry, but uh, when I go back in the new year I want to try and get down into low 7s. Yeah, achieve more with it basically with a more powerful engine. I want to achieve 250, 260 brake in a NA engine next that's going in it. Also, as well, I wouldn't have made it here this weekend if it wasn't uh, thanks to my sponsors, which is Hale Performance, Southwest Transmissions, and Custom Panel and Paint. Yeah, I've got a lot of big plans.
My name is Richard Warmer, uh, 23 years old. Uh, this is a 1962 Austin uh, Healy Sprite Mark II. Uh, I first acquired it about two years ago, three years ago. Uh, it was actually sitting in a little old lady's shed. Um, it had been sitting there for the last 35 years and uh, covered in dust and crap and boxes, uh, you name it, um, dragged it out initially just kind of drained all the fluids and, and got it running. And then uh, from there, it's just, right. <laughs> it all went a bit silly, really. Um, uh, before Retro Rise last year, on the Wednesday, we, uh, we had this crazy idea of, well, how about, a, we'll put a bonnet exhaust there and we'll, we'll, we'll put a Toyota gearbox in it and we'll weld the back axle and, and, uh, and we'll create a burnout machine. And it, it, that's what we did. We did it in a day. Uh, and uh, now it's uh, it just seems to get the most well the most varied comments i suppose but uh it's got me into some amazing shows this year as well which looking at how scruffy it is you just kind of never really expect that's the end of our three-part special we hope we kept it to three parts because we haven't recorded any more of these outros today and we might have to tack another one on somewhere so this might all change Fingers crossed it doesn't. Yeah. So thanks to Keith and... Keith and, and David, Keith who and put David on the show. The Fantastic day. And all of the people at Shelsley Walsh, all of the crew, all yep. of the marshals. Yep. Uh, Trevor and Steve. Yeah, Trevor and Steve, who brought down their RS200 and the Cosworth, along with all of the other guys from what Hill Climb Monsters. those cars are. Yeah, they're pretty savage. Yep. And Kat, Chris and Richard for talking to us about their home brews that they brought along. That we Mark want, 1 is a weapon. We want more people building these things on their drives at home, because that's how grassroots motorsports survives. That's what we're doing, yeah. so, you know. Speaking of, if you haven't checked out our projects, you can have a look at our T-Bird, SD1, Golf, or our mid-engine kit car project that we butchered from a Haynes manual chassis and a couple of Audis to try and get it onto the road. Catch up with all of that. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing. That would be fantastic. We'd love to have you along, and you can see everything that we're doing if you hit the little bell, and you'll get notified as soon as an episode goes up. So thanks for watching everyone, really enjoyed the event and we hope to see you again next year. Yep, we're not sure what our next road trip will be, but you can bet we're going to be on one soon enough.